So, the enemy animations. I will go on to this website and pick an uh, enemy. I chose the goblin as the enemy. You can choose whichever you like. When you have found the enemy you like, um, you see like a t-pose here. You click download for unity t-pose download and we need some animation with that you're gonna need the idle you're gonna need the walk the one and the death animation and of course you're also gonna need a combat animation so idle oh sorry i need to click animations this uh so we have the regular idle I like this one. So let's get that. Good skin. And then we're going to need to run. And it's going to be a. Uh, I think the zombie run can do something great. And then zombie walk. Uh, let's see. I actually don't like the walks from the zombie. Um, let's see, let's see. Right, let's take this. And then we're gonna need a diff animation. I like this one. And we're gonna need a punch animation. So he could become one punch man. Oof, oof, I like it. That go into Unity. That's not Unity. And let's see. Find animation. We make one for enemy. And then make one called Goblins. And then take all animation in this and then let's take the sample NPC and make that to our goblin so we're gonna take the T put it in let's see And move this, this, beautiful. Already like it. Uh, take the animator. Uh, choose the. The animator here and did the same mistake again. Take all of these scripts and copy paste it over to the other one. So, paste this new and move copy paste this new. Paste this new 
and move copy paste it's new and yeah move and can also and then apply all changes. Let's see. That looks fantastic. Everyone likes that. Um, so in the animation enemy goblins, we're gonna need a new, create a new animation controller goblin. And here we're gonna open our animator, put in the goblin, open the, this one, make a new blend tree, go into the blend tree, and call this forward speed, and set the animations, set animation, this will be the idle. Let's see what we have here is the goblin idle then we will add another one that will be the walk and then we will one on one that will be the one uh, like this and let's see so starts to walk and run. So we can see down here that it, when we are at 0 0.5, it's walking. It's when it's at one, it's running. So now we make the blend tree, and we have the three idols. We also, from any state, gonna have a new empty called that def transition. At the diff like that, and we're gonna set a trigger die and say if triggered, well, then we did so see. And it dies. Great. Now we not just need to put up the animations for it, and we can also put this to the ground. Maybe actually on the ground. That reset set. Fantastic. Uh, we actually gonna need a camera script anyway. I <laughs> actually the last video we didn't need it, but yeah, why not? Uh, create a new test area camera. Then we gonna do this and then we are going to move this and say serialized field transform target and and then we're going to say transform dot position equals to target dot position like that Put that down then we're gonna make an empty game object and say camera Follow, reset that, put the main game inside, take the position of our goblin, so copy component, 
to the follow, paste opponent values and main camera we will have it probably have it here. So go to game object, align with view. Oh, we forgot to actually add the script test, camera area, and then set the goblin as the target. Done. Oh, need to go in here, set the base of set to zero. Done. And now we need to work on the animation blend tree. Let's put up some texture on these characters, actually. <laughs> haven't done that. So in the animation enemy goblins, let's make a folder called uh, texture. Um, then you take the T-pose, tears, extract texture. Choose the map folder. Uh, say fix now, and you will have some colors on it. And we can do the same with the player. So the T-pose is here and we're gonna make a folder texture open that oh, don't open that actually <laughs> open this one extract texture choose texture fix now and then we want to like set the different animation to work and so if we go into the boop, 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 Test scene. Uh, sorry, let's start going to the scene and take the sample or right, apply all changes, and now take it into the test scene. Remove this enemy and this enemy, and insert prefabs, drag the, this one inside, and see if everything is correct so it's an enemy it's have an f miss it's have a mover it doesn't have a target go to the player and also it actually needs a collider um, so we're gonna give it a capsule collider and we need to center this and give it a bit of radius Let's see if it works. So here we are. And oh, forgot to bake the scene. Let's bake the scene. Window AI navigation. Bake. Um that's fine. Just baking it. Okay, so now the baking is done. Go into the goblin. Let's see. Yeah, put his health a bit down. Let's see health to maybe like eight. And then we want to set the death trigger. Did we set up the animation? Uh, this is the player. So yeah, we have the animation die. Okay, let's go into the scripts. And I think we will do it inside the health script. And uh, just can actually change this name to health points instead. Health points. So we know what it is 100%. And here we said that we can never be under zero. So we can actually remove this and just write if health points equals zero well then it's time to die of course so get component animator uh, and we need to set trigger I hope I spelled it this way die and just to be sure I will see if See, I have two projects. <laughs> um, I did it with the capsule. So let's go back. 
like this and then it should actually work so here he comes Let's smack him in a bit so oh yeah it does not print health now what else do I left oh that's a lot of health um In the one project. No. Hmm. Set it to ten. It comes one and two, and then he dies. But we are still keep hitting him. Poor guy. <laughs> 